Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. It is Wednesday. We uh, call this night work it Wednesday, which um, is kind of funny because we're all sitting at home. It's not, it's not such hard work. I am so glad you're part of our uh, viewing population tonight. Um, I want to introduce myself. My name is Jill Matthews and I'm a national director and leadership coach with Mary Kay. And I just want to say welcome to our program. Traditionally, this Wednesday night event uh, features a lot about our products. And so up to this point, we've done, oh my gosh, we've had slumber parties. We have all sorts, we've done all sorts of fun things and we've covered mostly uh, our product line. But tonight I thought we'd do something a little bit different. So I hope you were invited and you knew what you were being invited to. We're going to share a little bit about um, the Mary Kay business opportunity. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, I, I've really been burdened in the last several months, but the last few weeks specifically, about so many women that are that are hurting in our world. Um, whether they are um, out of work because of the COVID crisis, whether they are um, underemployed right now because of COVID crisis, whether they are trying to figure out all the dynamics of working from home and still trying to raise their children and still trying to, you know, do all the things and do it safely to protect their families. And I just feel like women have a lot of pressure right now. And so one of the things that I wanted to do tonight is just to be a voice of encouragement, to be a voice of hope, uh, and to be an all inclusive voice to welcome people into our Mary Kay world. And so if you were invited tonight, I want you to know it was very specifically and on purpose. And um, maybe whoever invited you just wanted you to see a little glimpse into our Mary Kay world. I think from the outside looking in, we kind of maybe look like those little crazy Mary Kay ladies. <laughs> and I have been in Mary Kay long enough to be one of those little crazy Mary Kay ladies. And so I just wanted to walk you through my journey, how I got involved in Mary Kay, maybe some dispel some myths about Mary Kay and then to talk about how it is really an opportunity for so many different people. I think so many times we say, well, I can't be like her or I don't wear a lot of makeup or uh, I'm not a salesperson or how does that work in the new uh, new normal world of COVID crisis? I mean, we're still right in the thick of things. And so how does it all work? So I just wanted to take tonight and just walk you through, like, how did I get started? Where is Mary Kay today? Where are we going? And how you might either fit in, or if it's totally not for you, how you might be interested in, um, in referring people to us. Because I do believe there's a lot of people that are looking for either a side hustle, they are looking for a culture of women that is empowering and uplifting, I think, oh my goodness, all you have to do is turn the news on for one hour and you can be devastated about the um, chaos and the crazy in our world right now, whether it's COVID or whether it's all sorts of other political issues that are that are daunting our United States. And so when we start looking for a safe haven to come and to be encouraged and be uplifted, I think there's very few places in this world right now that are really all about that mission. And I can tell you, if you don't join for any other reason in Mary Kay, join for the culture, join for the relationships, join for um, the encouragement and for, for people to lift you up. And we're so very good at that. But let me just start at the beginning. I um, have been with Mary Kay for 32 years. And I know I only look about 35, but they, you know, <laughs> seriously, I'm 55 years old. So I had graduated from Oklahoma State University with a degree actually two degrees. I had a degree in um, accounting, Yahoo, and I had another degree in uh, communications. And so I, um, at that time in Oklahoma, I was ready to embark on my whole, you know, new life and my whole work life. And so I began to start looking at what I was going to do. And at that point in Oklahoma, there was very, very little opportunity. It was during a very, very down uh, economy at that exact moment. And so I was really struggling because I didn't, I didn't really want to go back to school. I'd kind of you know, had enough of school, but I did want a bigger opportunity. And I wanted to, I really wanted to work. I, uh, my parents were not really generous with me during college. They, they believed I needed to work and 
really see the value in um, getting a great job and, and sticking close to my education. So uh, I was ready to make some money and to have some things and to go some places and do some things. And so my brother, I have three older brothers and my brother lived in Dallas and he, he called me one day and he said, Jill, come to Dallas and I'll help you find a job. And so I boogied right across that Red River and I headed straight into Dallas, Texas. And I was in love from the very first time I saw traffic from the very first time I saw a whole bunch of highways coming together. I went, yay, there's people. Like, no, that was, yeah, I didn't have a lot of that in rural Oklahoma. And so um, I was very, very excited about that. And uh, I came and I started I, I didn't find a job right off the bat. And so I started leasing apartments. Uh, I did that so I could um, have some money so I could be out on my own and and call my own, have my own home, which was an apartment at the time. And so I started leasing apartments. And then I got a real opportunity to do something in my field in accounting to be a corporate tax accountant. Now, I know that doesn't sound very glamorous. And frankly, it's not. But it was uh, a much needed pay increase. And it allowed me to work more of a nine to five and not work every night and every weekend. And so I was very excited. And I began to work my very first week. I probably should ask some more questions in that interview, but uh, my very first week I worked a little over 72 hours and I remember thinking, wow, this is corporate America. Okay. Wow. And it was really, even though I believe that that particular business opportunity was placed in my life for a very specific reason, it was not necessarily a good fit. I, I was in way over my head. It was very, very, very technical. It was, um, it was, it was just a lot of tax laws and you can just imagine for just a moment how not fun that is. And so I was not doing well in that particular career. And so I really wanted out. And the reason I'm sharing that with you is because I think sometimes we land places and we think this is where we're supposed to be or this must be where I'm supposed to be. But I want to just share with you that I believe sometimes you come into parts of your life for a reason and then I see other people that come in for a season. And so that was just a season for me. It taught me a lot of great, great things. I met some wonderful people and I really did understand that I wanted to work for myself. And so um, many of you know that my mom did Mary Kay, was very, very successful in that. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, thank you for posting that on the screen. If you're one of our guests, jump online, tell us your name. We're going to be drawing for some random gifts through the entire program tonight. I got all excited about you being here and I forgot to tell you the, the important part, how you win free prizes. So um, go ahead and write your name in one of the comment sections. Just tell us your name and tell us who invited you so that we can make sure you go into our rotating drawing. I've got my prize patrol right out the side of the door here and he'll be popping in to uh, make sure that we're giving away some free summer must haves. And so I forgot all, oh, thank you so much for, for posting that Carrie so that I can, <laughs> so I can be uh, somebody's light and bright shining person today and give some free prizes away. Okay. So back to the story. So I was, um, I was really, I was really convinced that I wanted to do something bigger and better and much more flexible. I, I knew I would be a good boss to myself. Um, I've always had a very, very strong work ethic. My, my parents were very, very adamant about a strong work ethic. In fact, I was raised very much so that, you know, it was Jesus and work ethic. You know, I mean, it was, those were the kind of the priorities in our household. And so, um, I, knew my mom had done very well with Mary Kay and she was very successful with Mary Kay, but I didn't, I didn't really see that as being something for me. Um, I wasn't really necessarily all that girly. Um, I'm much girlier today than I was then. And I didn't wear really any makeup. I wore skincare. I might wear mascara and lip gloss on a big date night. And you kind of had to really be worth it for me to do that. Um, and so I didn't, I didn't really see myself fitting in that pink, fluffy world. But um, after, like I said, several, several um, years of working in corporate tax, I said, there's got to be a better way. So I thought I would do Mary Kay for a season. Thought I'd do it for a moment in time to pay off some school loans, to pay off um, just some accrued debt that I had already uh, accrued. My, my, my income had exceeded my, or my outgo it exceeded my income. And so my upkeep was now my downfall. My dad used to say that all the time, be careful 
uh, about getting upside down. And so that's exactly where I was. So I really needed to pay off debt. I really needed to pay off my school loans. And then I thought I would either go back to school or I would do something that um, that would um, propel me to the next step. I just knew there had to be something else out there. And so I started Mary Kay very reluctantly. I didn't see it as really being my answer. I thought it was going to be just some money to get my debt ratio down and then I could regroup and start again. And so I didn't really see the, I didn't see it as a career. I, I just didn't. And it, it, I loved the products. I still love the products, but it wasn't really going to be um, the answer. It was just going to be a stepping stone for me. And so with that being said, I um, began my business and I didn't really know much about Mary Kay, even though my mom had done it. I, I had not paid attention very well. I had, had not really learned very much from her. And so I began to just listen and learn and how did I market the products? And I really can honestly say I didn't, I didn't want to be cuter. I didn't want to, I didn't want to really learn anything. I just needed money. And I don't know if anybody's listening today and you're saying, you know, money is really a huge reason I need, um, a side hustle right now. I need more money. And guys with the COVID crisis and with all the different changing work dynamics, whether you're working at home or whether you're not working or you're not sure you're going to get to continue working or if things close down again, we don't know what the future holds. But I can tell you point blank, when you are strapped for cash, I believe um, we tend to, um, we, we can't breathe as women because uh, we it's, it's proven that women do not work for money, but they do work for security. And guess what security is? Knowing your bills are paid, knowing that uh, things are OK in your household and you can provide for your family. And so money really is a driving force. And it was definitely a driving force for me. And so I knew that money was going to be my number one thing. So I, unfortunately, when I joined, I didn't get the whole picture. I was just looking for the cold, hard cash. And thank goodness the Lord blessed me with a couple of success stories right in the very beginning. Uh, I had a couple of really good parties, even though I didn't do them right. I can honestly say I didn't do them very well, but um, I was blessed with a few customers and some things went really, really well in the very beginning days. And so I began to, well, that worked pretty well. What, what would be next? You know, how would I make more money with this? And so I became a very good student. So I want to share with you today. If you, if you choose this uh, Mary Kay business opportunity, be a student, learn a little bit about it. It's not hard. It's not difficult or anything like that, but, but learn a little bit about the nuances of this business, because really this is not a cosmetic business. This is a people business. Remember I wear mascara and lip gloss about what I wear today, actually, but uh, seriously, it's a really simple business, but become a student, learn a little bit about the business and lean into the person that recruits you and mentors you. Because uh, I can honestly say I didn't know anything, but I did know to listen and learn. So as fate would have it, I began to, to become a little bit more successful and I leaned it a little bit more to my leaders and I moved up. One of the very first things that was very attractive to me obviously was money. But the second thing that was very attractive to me was that they offered a free car. Now, if you're sitting here right now going, you know, I don't know if I really need a free car. Everybody needs a free car. That's all I've got to say. Did you realize that um, in your family budget right now, your car, your car, even if it's paid off, your car maintenance is probably the second most um, expensive thing in your household budget. And so if you were able to, you know, one of the things that the Wall Street Journal did several years ago is to determine what was the critical inch for the American family. What was the gap of income that would make the biggest difference in the American family? And so they did this over literally thousands of people and they, they determined that $1,000 was a critical inch between being financially secure and being financially stressed. $1,000. $1,000. And so I have digested that and I have taught so many women how literally on a few five, six hours a week can add another thousand dollars into your budget. And maybe it's not whether your roof stays over your head, but it might be, you know, what you, where you get to go for dinner or what you get to bring home for dinner right now, or, you know, little things for your kids or, or redecorating or having a, 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 a better living space or having more options for your kids, having a better retirement program, putting money into a college fund for your kids. All of those things are, in my personal opinion, paramount. And so the second thing that's the biggest 
uh, driving force for me was a free car. And so I had uh, graduated from college and I'd gotten my big girl job. And so I had gotten a little upside down in a car payment. Uh, I had driven old kind of beater junker cars up to that point. And when I graduated, I just felt really proud of myself. And so I went and bought a brand new sports car. And I can tell you, I looked fabulous in it. Let's just be so clear. But um, that payment was stifling and it was absolutely something that made me stay up at night. And so I knew if I could get rid of that car payment and that car insurance payment, that my standard of living would be so much better. And so when Mary Kay mentioned a free car program, I became very, very, with a big capital V-E-R-Y, very interested. And I began to work on that. I can't say that I looked at all the aspects of this business. I just looked at what was my greatest need. So if you're sitting here listening tonight, you say, you know, money is a great need for me right now. I'm going to tell you, Mary Kay can meet you at the point of your need. If if you're if you're sitting there going, I don't know how I'm going to make the 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 month, you know, I, I, I can't make it meet. I can't make it. I have more month than money is what I used to call it or po check to po check. I used to call it that too. So literally if you're sitting there and that's where you are, here's what I'm going to share with you. Mary Kay can re meet that need. It, we make 50% on everything we retail. That's the highest commission paid in the direct sale industry. It's not a good deal. It's a great deal. And um, we have a very, very, very successful product line. So what I want to encourage you is if you're literally looking for money, this is a great opportunity. And the second thing that I want to share with you in that same vein is that this is a resellable product. So when you sell to a consumer, you're, they're going to use that product up and buy again. So what I like about our business model is that you are always servicing customers. You're not having to find a new customer every single day of the week. And that makes, um, it makes us have longevity in the business. So I think that's really, really good. Now, I haven't got a chance to introduce you to our pri Prince of Prize Patrol, but I've got somebody that's monitoring the phones right here at Pink Central. And um, you can lean down here. This is my handsome son. This is my handsome son, Carter. And Carter is getting a education paid for by Mary Kay Dollars. He's driving Thanks a brand new or a, a nice Jeep. Uh, thanks to Mary Kay Dollars. His whole life is due to Mary Kay Dollars because so I can tell you his blood runs pink. But he's working hard for me tonight. And I believe we've got some random winners. So from Debbie Jones's unit, we have Don Bear. Don. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Don, congratulations. You're going to be receiving some summer must haves from Mrs. Jones, from, from Director uh, Debbie Jones. So I want to say congratulations. And the Prince of Prize Patrol will be back in just a moment to make sure that um, some of our guests get to walk away with some summer must-haves. So if you're literally, if you're looking for money, uh, that $1,000 would make the big difference in your family right now, each month, every month, because stimulus checks, they may go somewhere, but they're but they're not going to be forever. This is $1,000 that you can literally have forever. And I just want to tell you that um, $1,000 wasn't enough for me to quit my full-time job, so I needed more than that, but that was a start. And so uh, if, you're, if you're saying, I need money, then that's the point of your need. If you say a new car, if I could have a new car that was maintenance free and somebody was paying 85% of the car insurance, that would be huge. Then I want you to know Mary Kay is a business opportunity that I want you to consider. And so let me kind of continue with my story. So um, I started working on that free car and I won that free car in the first four months I was in the company. I can tell you, I, I didn't look left. I didn't look right. I was way focused on that free car. And so um, with that being said, uh, they delivered that free car. Now I want to kind of set the stage for you just a moment on this free car. I was working uh, those crazy hours during tax season and corporate tax tax season lasts for about six months long, really about eight months, but six months is really intense. And um, so I won a brand new free car working part time in Mary Kay. And the very week that my new car was delivered, um, the comp we, we were finishing tax season and I literally had to wait three days to even pick up my free car because I was working literally almost 100 hours a week. It was really ridiculous. And so uh, the very last day of this major deadline, I took a little lunch hour and I went and grabbed my free car and I came home and I can remember driving home just going, oh my gosh, somebody just gave me a free car, the very first new car I'd ever owned in my entire life. And so I was literally drinking in that new car smell going, 
oh my gosh, somebody, just, I was working part time during a crazy tax season and somebody gave me a free car. That very night we did a tax, um, the end of tax party, which was mandatory. I was so tired. I just needed a nap, but it was mandatory in my company. And so we went to this place for barbecue and beer and it, you know, okay, great, fabulous. But I can remember they awarded me with a paperweight. That paperweight still sits in my office today. And it was a little paperweight to say, thanks for doing a good job. I worked 142 overtime hours in a month. It was not, those were overtime hours, not regular hours, 142 overtime hours. And they gave me a paperweight paperweight and I looked at the key the paper key the paper tags were still on the keys from the car and I realized right then I need to do something different and that's really where everything started so I went full-time in my business and I began to work very very diligently and um, so I'll, I'll just be honest with you another point of my need is I needed some positive girlfriends even though I'm a super friendly person and I really really enjoy people I wasn't necessarily an extrovert and so I'm still not necessary. I know the Mary Kay people are along this line laughing a little bit. They think I'm a very much an extrovert. But if you really know me, I like my home time. I like my posse of people. And I'm really not a super, you know, go meet everybody at the mall kind of girl. And so I really needed some positive girlfriends. I grew up with all boys. I grew up in the country. I can rewire your car. <laughs> I can wrestle cattle. I can do all sorts of fun things, but um, shopping and getting my nails done and all that, that probably wasn't my affinity. So I wasn't necessarily a girly girl. I was much more comfortable watching football and I just didn't, I did sports more than I did um, the mall shopping thing. And so I really desired some positive girl uh, relationships. And somebody's already written that the best part of this business is relationships. And I cannot agree more. Oh my gosh, my world. I am rich, rich, rich. Now I've got great money from Mary Kane. I'll share some of that, but literally I'm rich beyond measure with quality relationships. And so few women can say that they might have a good friend, maybe two good friends. Um, but literally the volume of quality, emotionally healthy women that are in this company is it's mind boggling. And if you don't, ever say yes to anything, say yes to just being part of this group for that very reason. So that was kind of one of my, my, a point of my need. And I started realizing that that was really important to me. And then I'm going to tell you a little sad story. So uh, I was moving along in my Mary Kay career. I was full time. I was working really hard. I was even driving a pink Cadillac and um, I made a really poor choice in a relationship and I got married. And when I got married, I didn't marry somebody that, really was probably what I needed to do. It probably wasn't a godly choice. And so um, I married somebody that was a, that was addicted to illegal drugs. And through that very dangerous relationship, it wasn't necessarily my family because I was really good at hiding things around my family. It was my Mary Kay girlfriends that recognized I was in a dangerous situation and I needed help. So guys, I'm telling you, it's really important you are like the five people you surround yourself with. And I can tell you I'm rich beyond measure because of the relationships in Mary Kay. And Prince of Prize Patrol is back. <laughs> Speaking of family, uh, from Julia Willitson's group, uh, we have Dondra Becker. Dondra, congratulations. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Dondra, congratulations. You've got some summer must have come in your direction. So make sure you reach out to Julia. She's going to be giving you a great summer prize package. So I love that. But literally through that very tumultuous relationship, I realized how important the people that you surround yourself with. And so um, I'm an advocate for Mary Kay Foundation, which um, has lots of different legs. But the leg that I'm most fond of is for the domestic violence. Uh, Mary Kay spends a lot of her time, energy and resources uh, funding shelters, fund, funding um, different um, programs for children that have been affected by domestic violence and really helping women to recover, to stay safe and to recover and to move forward uh, and become very, very productive in life through uh, the battle of domestic violence. And I was one of those people. And so uh, that's something that's really, really near and dear to my heart. So that's another reason I love Mary Kay is because of the culture and literally 
it's not just what we sell. It's who we are and what we do for the community. And I can honestly say those are those are rich, rich rewards for me, much bigger than a paycheck. So um, a lot of people ask me questions like, well, well, what did you do and how did you become successful? So I want to kind of just go over a couple of things that were some of my needs. I already told you money was one of my needs. A car was one of my needs. Relationships, positive girlfriends were one of my needs. But I also had a very, very strong need for advancement. I'm a competitor. I already told you I'm a sports girl, so I'm super competitive. It's just my DNA, my hard wiring. And I used to kind of apologize for being bold and being... Uh, competitive, but now I realize that that's why God hardwired me. And I need to lean into it. And I loved Mary Kay because it was an opportunity for me to achieve and excel without destroying anybody else. In other words, the only way you can be successful in Mary Kay is to help other people become successful with Mary Kay. And so as we bring people into our Mary Kay world, one of the things that we do is that we teach them what we do and we mentor them and we coach them. As I told you earlier, when I introduced myself, I'm a leadership coach. And so I have the privilege of coaching uh, beauty consultants that retail this product. And I also have the privilege and the honor to coach leaders that are leading those um, beauty consultants. And so I love my job more than you can even imagine, but I love knowing that what I do makes a difference for somebody, but I also love to win. And so this has been a platform for me to, to really, really work and achieve big things. I can tell you that my list of accolades is, is longer than my arm, and I don't even care about those accolades. I really care about the people that I've had an opportunity to impact. But I can tell you, when you're a winner, you want to win. And this is a platform that you can get in, and you don't have to worry about who hired you or, you know, if there's a job opportunity that's available, this is a business opportunity where you say, I want her job and we're going to teach you how to have it. And so I love knowing that I could achieve and achieve big. And with those achievements, there could be money. Um, I am very, very money motivated. And I used to apologize for that too. I don't apologize for that anymore because money is just the measure. It's the measuring stick for how many lives that you've impacted. And so, our income in Mary Kay is very, very rich. I told you that we make 50% on everything that we sell. Um, that is for first time sales and future sales. The second thing that I think is very, very rich in our business is our team building commissions. And so let me explain how our team building commissions work because we're very different than a lot of business opportunities that are out there right now. And so I wanted to create that distinction for you. So when we um, build a new team member, like I signed up a, a new team member today. I'm very excited about her. Her name's Janet. She's a, a, a real estate agent. She wants something to kind of balance her real estate business. And so I'm very excited about working with her. And um, so when she signs up, yes, I'm financially compensated, but I'm only financially compensated when she makes money. So I love that. So it's not just automatically when she I don't get anything for her signing up. I only when she starts making money, Mary Kay pays me a commission from um, from her orders. And so how it works is she comes in and she starts making money when she orders from the company. The company says, oh, my gosh, Jill, you did a really good job. Janet's doing super. And we're going to pay you out of our portion of the money. Mary Kay's portion of the money. We're going to pay you a commission check doesn't come out of Janet's money in any, in any way, which she's happy about, of course, of course. And I'm happy about that too, because I can encourage Janet. I can be totally real with her and I can be a really amazing leader to her knowing that when she's successful, I'm successful. And you know what? That's Janet's insurance policy that I'm going to be here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to leave her high and dry. I'm going to be there to coach and help her and hold her hand if she needs me to and just to cheer her on if she needs me to. And so our team building commissions range anywhere from four to 13 percent, depending on how many team members you have and depending on how productive your team is. And so it's a very, very straightforward commission. It's not complicated and we don't have legs and branches and we don't have any of that. It's literally your team members are your team members. And so a lot of people ask me, well, Jill, does that make that a pyramid scheme? This is a age old question. And so I want to go ahead and just nip that in the bud. Absolutely not. Let me just tell you a little bit about a pyramid scheme. A pyramid scheme is actually an illegal business practice, illegal business practice. And so uh, anything that is a pyramid scheme is quickly put out of business. And I'm not going to say they're not out there. They are absolutely out there, but they are they are those companies that you see today. 
gone tomorrow. And they are put out of business very quickly because with the FTC, uh, their, their Federal Trade Commission, they, they, they investigate them and take them down. They're, they're not allowed to uh, operate. So then I get the question, well, are you a multi-level company? The answer is no. So the difference between our corporate structure and a multi-level company is this. A multi-level company has multi levels of disc. If I come in and I buy a thousand tubes of lipstick, I can buy them for a dollar. And let's say Janet wants to buy 500 tubes of lipstick. I'm going to sell them to her for $2. And then let's say she recruits Mary and Mary needs 10 tubes of lipstick. She's going to sell them to her $3. That's where people make money off of one another. That's not really necessarily the best business practice. In Mary Kay, we don't do any of that. We operate just like a Starbucks or a McDonald's or anybody else. We buy wholesale directly from Mary Kay. We sell to a consumer. Simple as that. That's how it works. If uh, it doesn't matter, if you buy it for a dollar, sell for two. I'm at the top of the food chain, if you want to call it that, in Mary Kay. And literally, Janet, who's brand spanking new, she signed up today. We're going to buy the same mascara at the same discount forever. So there's no privilege. There's no, um, um, I've been in longer so I get a better discount. There's no multi levels of discount. Everybody buys at a 50% discount. And I love that because that's a fair playing field. And that means that everybody has the same opportunity, which makes it fair. And I'm all about fair. Okay. Guess who's right over here. Here he is. The Prince of Prize Patrol. I'm back, baby. <laughs> Okay, who is it? From uh, Katie Swaggerty's group, we have Janae Irvin. Janae. So winner, winner, chicken dinner, Janae. <laughs> Janae, good job. Good. We're so excited you're part of our group tonight. And just no, 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 summer must have products come in your direction. We are so pleased you're part of our group tonight. Okay, so we've addressed the multi-level issue. We've addressed all those fun things. Um, the, I think the best part of this business is you truly are your own boss. Um, I can honestly say I am a really, really good boss. Now I can tell you, I'm a very hard worker. I was, I don't know if that's just ingrained in me. My, um, my dad who's in heaven now, one of the things that I can tell you, he would say is the harder you work, the luckier you get. So I was raised with a lot of work ethic and I would work hard. If I was a volunteer, I would work hard. If I was digging ditches, I would work hard. If no matter what I did, I just am a hard worker. But if you're a hard worker and you really enjoy some of the, um, flexibility of working when you want to work. You will love this business. I have raised four children. That's just one of four children that I've raised. And um, he's not even the oldest. I've got more that are older than him. And I've got one that is 15 still at home. Uh, the love child that I had when I was 40. <laughs> anyway, don't do that. But anyway, so um, the reason I tell you all that is four children, no daycares. I literally had people that would come in and help me as I worked. And I I've always had in-home help and things like that, but I was always a stay-at-home, work-at-home, executive income kind of girl. So I can honestly say the best part about this business opportunity is being your own boss. In our COVID crisis, it has been so wonderful because uh, a lot of other people are trying to learn how to work from home. Well, I've worked from home literally with a soccer ball going towards my head and cooking dinner at the same time and all the different things that you do when you when you raise four kids. And so I can honestly say this is a unique opportunity. So if you're sitting here saying, I don't know, Jill, I, this sounds all good and everything, but there's lots of buts. And so I'm just going to, I'm going to throw something out to you guys. I want you to give me some of your buts. I want you careful how I say that, right? I want you to give me some of your, your concerns. Let's say it that way. Your concerns. So give me some questions that you would like me to answer. Just pop it up on the screen. Give me some questions that you would have always wanted to ask somebody, but you didn't have anybody to ask. And so I'm going to give you a minute to do that, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit more. So go ahead and start adding your questions. I'll start watching. But the one thing I want you to, to understand tonight is that Mary Kay there really is something for everyone. So if you are young and you're um, you're starting out, you're like, I don't know. I don't know if this is something for me. Uh, you're never going to know unless you try. I'm honestly going to tell you that you're never going to know. But if you've got girlfriends, if you know, if you're young, you probably know how to work social media a lot better than I do. That is a huge platform for us. We are super successful in that arena. And I would encourage you to say yes. 
so that you can uh, have an additional revenue stream. Even if you're going to college, even if you're looking at your first job, um, if you listen to any financial resource person, they're going to tell you, you need at least two to three revenue streams coming into every household because you never know. I mean, COVID has been a really, really great equalizer for a lot of people to know that you're not guaranteed a job forever. And so having additional revenue streams are really, really important. If you're sitting there saying, you know what, I've got a great job and I'm working from home and I've got it all figured out. I don't know that I want to add one more thing to my plate. Well, one of the things that I can tell you is we've got more time right now than we really have ever had. And it might be an opportunity for you just to start with your friends, your family. You don't expand your business large. You just start with your friends and family. And that might be um, an, an opportunity for you um, to kind of get your feet wet and see what the Mary Kay business opportunity is all about. I always say the worst thing that can happen to you if you sign up with Mary Kay is you get a 50% off discount on your own products and you make a lot of really amazing girlfriends. And so that's not really too big of a downside for sure. And so um, if you're sitting there going, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know, it sounds good, but tell me what your concern is. I would love to address it on our call tonight. And then the third person that might be listening to us is somebody that is like me. You're, you're over your 50s. You're like, man, I've already kind of tackled my my life's work and, and I'm kind of on the downhill slide. I don't really know what retirement looks like. I know I don't have enough money in retirement. You, and by the way, you never have enough money in retirement. But you say, I don't know what that looks like, but I know I don't want to just stop. I'm not on a rocking chair on the front porch. I mean, what, what am I going to do with myself? Well, this is a fun outlet. This is very, very social. It's fun. Um, and we can teach you how to do everything online if you choose to, or when we get to be out with people again, you're going to enjoy that aspect as well. And if you're sitting there going, you know, I don't know, I can, I really don't know. I want you to know the three fastest growing demographics in our company is um, young women not knowing what they're going to do <laughs> with their lives and really wanting that flexibility that, um, you know, Millennials love our business because there's no rules. There's really no rules. You can create your business just exactly how you want it to be. And then we see a lot of women that are, um, you know, trying to raise kids. They're trying to figure it out. And um, how do I put a side hustle in there so I can have the extra money so I can stay home and raise my children? This is a great opportunity to do that as well. And then we see women, like I said, my age that have kind of been there, done that, and they don't want to do any more of it. You know, they, they've kind of had all they want of the, maybe the real world, and they really want something that's flexible and fun, and yet also contributes to the retirement plan. And then we see a big, huge demographic of, 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 of immigrants that join our company. And I always say first and second generation Americans are some of the fastest growing demographics in our business. And the, I believe the reason is, is because they came to the United States of America to um, chase the American dream. And those dreams are usually business ownership and home ownership. And so we see a huge spike of, of people that are first and second generation Americans. I have two beautiful leaders in my organization that one is from Kenya one is from Nigeria and they're uh, medical nurses um, and one is in real estate. I mean, they do all sorts of different things because once again, they are very, very passionate about the American dream. And so when they found Mary Kay, this was uh, something they wanted to pursue and to help other women like them find uh, a, a place and, and have those opportunities with that financial freedom. Okay. So I have any questions. I don't really see any questions. Y'all, y'all must think you know it all. <laughs> well, let me kind of continue a little bit further, but please lay out a question for me because I would love to answer those questions. Okay. So let me just tell you really quickly uh, a little bit about what Mary Kay's got going on. This is the, this is June. And uh, June 24th, my mom's 84th birthday is tomorrow. I'm so excited about that. Um, but this is the end of our fiscal year. We we have a fiscal year that ends in on June 30th and it starts on July 1st. So a little different than the rest of the world. But in our fiscal year, we always have fun specials that happen in the month of June to tie up all of our numbers and to to help us reach goals and we're all pushing for something and isn't it fun to have a goal? I mean, I, I love that. When I was in um, corporate tax, my only goal was to keep my job. I mean, that was literally about my only goal. Uh, they didn't really set any goals out for me. They just told me to keep my job and that was about it. So I love having goals. This is a very goal driven uh, society and I love it. I love it. I think it brings out the best in everybody. 
But in that, Mary Kay always offers a, a huge special for the month of June. So let me tell you a little bit about it. It is something called eStart. So first of all, let me let me tell you that when you join Mary Kay, you have options and there's so many different options. And so eStart is just one of two options that you can um, join our company. So let's say you're listening tonight. And you say, you know, this cannot be all bad. I could get my products 50 percent off. Um, I can make some new girlfriends. I could work from home a little bit more. Um, it might pad my retirement account. It might give me some more money for um, shopping, you know, literally just the fun things in life. Or it could be an opportunity for me to drive a free car and move into a leadership position in record time. Um, please hear my heart. There is absolutely a career path behind this. I became a sales director. Let's see. I won my car in the first four months. I became a sales director four months later. And with in, um, I was driving a, a, a I was, I've always driven a free company car, but I was driving a pink Cadillac. And within two more years, I was making over a six digit income. And guys, that's, that's 20, um, 26 years ago, 26 years ago, very few women made a six digit income. And so I just want to share with you that this is not just child's play. This is not just a little lipstick. This is a very serious business. And if you're interested in that, business side of it. We're absolutely going to coach and work with you. In fact, you'll work with me directly. If you're interested in that uh, advancement into that leadership side, you'll work directly with me. And if you're interested in just, I don't know about that leadership side. I just maybe want to sell some lipstick. I might want to just get that discount. I just want to do a little bit less Then we've got options for you as well. So let me tell you about the two options that you can have as you decide you're interested in this business opportunity. First of all, it's our conventional way to join Mary Kay and you buy a starter kit. Our starter kit, um, I'm going to show you a little picture while I talk of our starter kit so that you can have a little, there it is. Um, so you can, got, you can kind of get a little uh, idea of what we have to offer. You get this beautiful black um, tote bag and inside of it is real life products. And so we have about $425 worth of real life product inside there. And if you're wondering what that product is, it is our, our wonderful TimeWise 3D program. Uh, you get an entire program, entire skincare set for dry skin and an entire skincare set for oily skin. Uh, in addition to that, you get an oil-free eye makeup remover, you get a mascara, you get 11 or excuse me um five of our cc creams um what else you get satin hands you get an entire satin hand set which i can't tell you what a value that is um let's see what else you get all sorts of samples you get trays mirrors you get um instructional manual you can literally your training can be done online in person you can read it you can listen to it there's literally a menagerie of different ways you can um learn about it you get a uh, oil-free eye makeup remover, our number one most popular selling individually packaged product, as well as a mascara. Guys, it's really a business in a box. You get everything you need. And when I say everything you need, I mean everything you need to get a business started. That costs you $100. Uh, yeah, you heard me right. You get a three, you get four hundred and dollars uh, $25 worth of product and you get it for $100. It's the only time in your Mary Kay career ever you get that kind of discount. So um, I would absolutely encourage you if you're interested in wearing the product and using the product, that's a, the deal of the century right there. But there's other people that, that are interested in maybe just running an online business. You're, you're like, I don't really need those trays. I don't really need those mirrors. I don't know how many much in live person I'm going to do. And so Mary Kay started something called an e-start program. And it's an opportunity for you to have all the benefits of Mary Kay, the 50% discount. You can have a personalized website as well as an opportunity to process credit cards through our ProPay system. You can have all of those advantages for just $30. Now, you don't get the products. You don't get the supplies that you saw in that flyer earlier, but you do get the opportunity to buy wholesale directly from the company and you get a website as well as um, your opportunity to process credit cards. So it's a really good deal. So I'm going to just kind of pose it to you this way. If you're interested in really building a business, I'm going to tell you point blank, the $100 starter kit is the way to go. Number one, you get product for that. You really have real live product and you have all the training and educational materials that you need. And for an extra $30, you can have your free website and your free um, um, uh, credit card processing. 
So for 130, you get everything. In my personal opinion, if you're interested in running a business, that's the best decision. If you're sitting there just going, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I just want to stick my big toe in the water. Maybe I just want to try a little bit. Maybe I just want to see how it goes. I don't really think that's a really good strategy. But anyway, even if that's just where you are right now, just understand if you start with a $30 kit, that is okay. And we want to encourage you just join us at any level because you never know where it's going to take you. But guess who's sitting lurking in the shadows right here. So Carter, tell us who's our winner. So from uh, Heather Carr's group, we have Miss Connie Trotter. Connie Trotter. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> you got to come up with a better slogan. No, so <laughs> if, it, if it fits, it ships. <laughs> He's full of those. And, uh, I actually got a couple questions from your little oh, feed that people okay. are asking you. They Good. want to know some questions. Okay. Lay uh, it on me. The first question is, how do you compete when there are so many consultants in my area? Excellent question. I love that. So stay right here, Carter, because we're going to answer oh, that Oh, you got question. more questions. Oh, yeah. That's why stay right one. here. So let me just answer that question. Does it tell me who it's from? No, it doesn't. Okay. So here's the question. So many consultants in your area. I hear that a lot because I'm in Dallas, Texas. This is the mother of all Mary Kay. Oh my gosh. Our corporate headquarters is my neighbor. So how do you compete with that? First of all, I'm going to tell you point blank, you probably won't have to compete. So let me explain. Most people that join Mary Kay, um, the majority of our sales force is part time. That means that they're probably servicing friends, family, some coworkers. And so most of our beauty consultants are operating in a small customer base. And once they've established that customer base, they just maintain that customer base. Many of our beauty consultants don't even actively go out and look for new customers. And so there is absolutely a huge opportunity for you if you're interested in developing a customer base. So let me explain. If you see one traffic cone in your city, if you see one thing under construction in your city, if you see anything growing, anything developing in your city, you may not have been out of your house enough to see it, but it's out there. Then I assure you there is an opportunity for more people. And I always say there's baby girls born every single day. So we are always going to have a business opportunity. But just remember that most beauty consultants develop their customer base and they maintain that customer base. There are very few beauty consultants are really actively going out. It's kind of like a doctor. Once they get their clientele, it doesn't mean that they don't take new clients, but they're not actively going out and hustling new business. And so um, think of a beauty consultant exactly like that. And so there's going to be a lot of people that they may know somebody that's in Mary Kay, but maybe they don't buy from them or they've not been approached by them or they've never been to a party or they've never tried the product. And so I want to encourage you, don't let that be a deterrent because literally if you have five, if you, your sister and your mama, and you have two friends that purchase from you, did you realize that you will absolutely be on a profit basis with Mary Kay? Absolutely make money. So it does not take hundreds of people to be a client, you to have a client base, literally. 5, 10, 15, 20, you're going to see substantial income from that. So don't be scared just because, you know, um, I have a really good friend that's from Pigeon, Michigan. And she always tells me it's right in the corner. I don't even know what that Michigan looks like fingers. You know, it's right in the corner. She always tells me that. And there were five in her town had 5,000 people in it. 5,000, 5,000. And there are five Cadillac sales directors which means that each one of those directors probably had 75 people underneath them selling the product. So trust me, we're not in a saturated market. No way, no how, no matter where you live, I promise. And so think of, do you know five people? Do they know five people that are not currently being serviced by somebody? I promise 10 people, you're going to have a very successful business. Okay. So I hope that answered that question. Tell so me something else. The next question I find pretty funny actually um, what if your spouse does not support you? That's pretty funny because <laughs> it's pretty true. It's, it's, it's very true. So let me just tell you a little bit about that. Um, I have, um, been around the block a couple of times. We'll just leave it at that. That's my code language. And I have had a spouse that was not very supportive of my business. And I've had a spouse that is ridiculously supportive of my business. I've had both. And so I can tell you the majority of my Mary Kay career, I had somebody that was not supportive of my business. And so 
Um, I can honestly say that I was the breadwinner during those that entire season. So I was the majority of the bread. I mean, the money making in our family was came from me. And I still dealt with a lot of negativity. But I'm just going to tell you right now, I believe that most men want us to be happy. And I believe strongly that if you absolutely want to do this business and you want to become successful, there's a couple of things that you can do to change his mind. Number one, put money in the bank. Um, I always say that there's only a couple of things. I'm just going to talk about one of them tonight. There's a couple of things that men are really interested in. And one is money in the bank. And if you're really serious about turning his head, put a free car in his driveway. When you do that, they're going to respect your business. What they have a hard time respecting is that you're doing this for a minute and you're doing that for a minute. And you're doing this for a minute and you're doing that for a minute. And you've spent a little bit of money on Mary Kay, but you didn't go sell it. You, just all the different things. So if you're running it like a business, I do believe you will you will warrant his, his respect. But when you run it like a hobby and it's kind of here today, gone tomorrow, that's something that I feel like a lot of men don't respect. And I personally agree with them. So if you feel like your husband's not supportive, I'm a great person to talk to. The second thing I would tell you is put money in the bank and literally keep things under control. Um, manage your time well. Make sure you're not taking away from your family that you're adding to your family. I can honestly say, literally, I was at I had a kid that did hockey. I had a girl that did dance. I had a band kid. I have a swimmer that swims six days a week at 6 a.m. in the morning, six days a week. So I have a very hands-on mom, but I've learned how to be very productive during the times that I needed to work. So a lot of it is how we treat the business, whether we're going to garner their support. So I hope that answered your question. And I have another one for you. Um, do you have to put money in uh, into Mary Kay before you see income? Um, well, you have to buy a kit of some kind. So either you need to buy the $100 starter kit or the 30. Those are your two options. So, yes, I mean, there, you have, there's an outlay of money right there. So either 100 or 30. Past that, um, we encourage you to carry a store. Now, that is not mandatory. It's not mandated in any Mary Kay that you carry a store. But we're going to encourage you. Are those all the questions? My knees are hurting. Okay, no, sorry. okay just check it. So it's, it's, man, it's not mandated by Mary Kay, but we encourage you to. And let me tell you why we encourage you to. Because when a woman sees, touches, and loves this product, she's going to want to go take it home. It's an, it's an impulse buy. And so we know for a fact that if you carry product, you are going to be much more likely to sell product. In fact, statistics tell us that any company, doesn't mean just Mary Kay, but if Target or Walmart or the grocery store has it for sale and they can touch it, feel it, take it home with them, that uh, a person was much is 33% more likely to take it home. If it has to be ordered or it has to be searched for, it's probably about 33% less likely that they're going to take it home. They're not going to wait for it. They're going to go find something somewhere else. And so do you have to carry a store? No. Do we encourage you to carry a store? Yes. It's in your best interest. Um, how much of an outlay? You can start with a store that's this big or you can start with a store that's this big. It's really up to you. We don't make that decision. We lay out all your options. You decide. If you decide, zero. That is absolutely an option. You can absolutely pick that. But we're going to coach you on how to do that even the best you can. So do you, is it mandatory? No. Is it suggested? Yes. Is it in your best interest? Yes. And just a little caveat. If you decide that you want to do this business and you put a store together and you've got it in your shelf and then you change your mind, let's say for whatever reason you moved to Tahiti, you know, whatever. Um, did you know you can pack up every bit of the product and return it back to Mary Kay and get 90 cents on every dollar you spent for it? If you open a tanning salon today and buy a bunch of tanning beds and your business doesn't work out, you don't get to return your tanning beds. So just understand that Mary Kay does everything, everything humanly possible to put you to set you up for success. And um, so I think I think that answered your question. So it's up to you. But yes, the hundred dollars or the thirty dollars is mandatory. You have that's how you join the company. It's kind of like a Sam's membership. You got to have you got to join. And then once you join, you can start buying 50 percent off. And then the last question I'm going to leave you with is uh, I'm not very good at wearing makeup or putting on makeup. <laughs> how, how do I sell it? Oh, 
Great question. Okay. I love this question. I'm so glad you left this one for the last. So first of all, when I joined, I think it, you may not have been on when I said this, but literally when I joined, I wore skincare because I did take care of my skin because I had a challenging skin as a teen. And um, so I, but one of the things I didn't do, I didn't wear a lot of makeup. And so I wore mascara and lip gloss on a big date night and he had to be really cute and kind of worth it for me to go to that much trouble. So I did not wear a lot of makeup. And even today, I certainly have the skill of knowing how to put make, apply makeup. I'm very skilled in that now. 30 years, I better be. But um, that was not necessarily my strength in the beginning. I became a sales director, which is a leader, the top 2% of the company before I ever wore eyeshadow. So if that encourages you a little bit, good. But I can honestly say we have people at all skill levels when it comes to this. And the one thing I will just challenge you is, are you willing to learn? It doesn't mean that you have to start wearing a full face of makeup tomorrow. It means, are you willing to learn? Are you willing to be a student? Will you go take some online training? Will you practice a little bit more? Will you pour, force yourself to be a little experimental? If you're willing to learn, we can teach you everything. Everything you see today on this face is a tra is training, training. It did not come natural at all. But I can honestly say, if you're willing to learn, we will be glad to teach you. Those were great questions. I'm so glad. For some reason, I'm not seeing them on my screen. I think they're coming up on the Facebook screen. So uh, I'm so glad that Carter came in here and... <laughs> and uh, shared those questions with me. Okay, so um, I think I'm just going to move right into sharing. I'm going to share a little last story that's kind of a fun story that everybody asked me to share. And um, so one of the directors made sure I wanted to share it tonight. So I will make sure to end with my pink Cadillac story. But I really want to challenge you. If you're sitting there and you're on the fence, I want to challenge you. Do something. If you say no, say no. But if you are thinking about it, just say yes. You have literally everything to gain and nothing to lose. Because the like I told you earlier, the worst thing that can happen is you could buy your products wholesale, which is a major savings. And you can meet some really, really wonderful people. And that is not a bad thing. Um, a question that I get asked a lot that I didn't get asked tonight is, are there quotas? No, there's no quotas. So if you want to come in and you want to just buy for your you have to buy in wholesale quantities, which is a really small quantity. Um, but do you have to do it every month? Is you have to order every? No, you don't have to do any of that. It's really up to you what you decide. And just as another little caveat, one of the things that I'm super passionate about is we do a lot of listening in Mary Kay. So if you come to me and say, Jill, I don't know what I want to do with this, but can you just teach me how to do a little bit? Maybe I want an extra 500 bucks a month. Then we're going to write a business plan that supports that. And then when you say, I think I want to do a little more, then we're going to write a business plan that supports that. We're going to listen to what you want. We're not going to say, girl, this is what you got to do. We don't believe in that because that's what the real world does. And we want to be something that is part of the solution. And that helps you discover what you want with this business. Are we going to tempt you a little bit? You bet we will. You bet we're going to tempt you a little bit. And I'm going to tempt you right now. So if you are interested and you're sitting there, you're on, I don't know, this sounds good, but I want you to know whoever invited you to this call would love for you to sign up with them tonight because they're probably working on a big goal for a month end. And so if you signed up, it would be a major feather in their cap. So first of all, do it for them, but no, don't do it for them. Do it for you. But the second thing is I'm going to provide a little incentive. So here's the deal. Um, this is always tricky since we have two, we're casting to, to YouTube as well as to Facebook. And it's always a little complicated, but I'm going to offer some, one lucky winner. If we have three people, so three or more sign up, we're going to put everybody into a pot and I'm going to have my assistant do it. So I don't even have any knowledge of this, but literally we're going to take everybody that signs up tonight. As long as we have three people sign up tonight, we're going to draw for one lucky winner. And I'm going to purchase your $30 e-start. If you choose to do the $100 starter kit, I'll still pay the $30 for you to get your website and your pro pay for free for a year. So if you're interested, your name goes into a drawing and it's a pretty good chance you would be a winner if you're interested. And then the second caveat that we're throwing it all on the table tonight is if you say yes, we're offering everyone that says yes tonight, not tomorrow, not next week, 
But tonight, if you say, I'm in, I'm going to do it. I don't have anything to lose and I have everything to gain. If you say yes, we're going to offer you a free satin hands and that's going to come from your sales director, a free satin hand set. That's going to be something for you to use and enjoy for yourself. And then the one that comes in your kit is going to be one for you to demonstrate. So just know you have everything to gain and nothing to lose. Now I'm going to leave you with a real fun story. A lot of people ask me, how does this, how does the pink car work? A lot of people ask me that. And I can tell you when I first joined, the first thing I said to the person that recruited me is I don't want to drive a pink car. I'm a big car girl. And if, if the, the directors on this call know me, I'm a big car girl. I love cars. In fact, my garage is full of cars, full of cars. And so, um, uh, <laughs> So pink Cadillac didn't sound like something I wanted to have. So when I won my very first pink Cadillac, I remember I just had to like take a deep breath. And I remember when I went to the sticker on the window, I was so blown away. So let's fast forward. I am now moving to the position of national sales director. National sales director is kind of like the top of the top in the company. And at that level, they let you pick any pink Cadillac that you want. You can pick any options. You can deck it out. Well, at that time, uh, there was not a pink Escalade in our car program. We only had the sedan Cadillacs. And I had just had, um, I we just brought our fourth child into the family. And um, I was 40 and I had four kids under six. And uh, I didn't know where I was going to stack them all. And so uh, I called the company and I asked them if they had a better car option for me. I, and they said, no, the sedan was the largest pink Cadillac that they offered. And I said, you know, they make this Escalade thing. Could we please, can I, can I have one of those? And they kind of giggled to me and they said, Jill, do you know how much an Escalade cost? And I said, no, I hadn't bought a car in several years. And so, no, I do not know. You've all, you've bought all my cars. So I don't know how much they cost, but I do know I need one. So I'm going to fast forward pretty quickly. So uh, I got a call uh, a, a couple weeks later and they said, you know, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you about $1,600 a month cash compensation to buy any car that will accommodate your family. What a generous company. They didn't have to do that. They could have said, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. But literally they said, you can have any car, you can have any car you want. And here's the money to go pay for that. Very, very generous. And so I did go buy my family an Escalade, but it wasn't pink. And I know it sounds crazy because I came in not wanting a pink Cadillac. But I learned very quickly that, that pink Cadillac, I took such pride in that pink Cadillac because it represented the company and it represented this opportunity and the women that I had the privilege of representing. And so um, I asked, could I paint it? Could I do this? Could I do that? All these different things. And, and um, I couldn't, they, there was rules against that. And so um, I kind of pouted for a minute and then I decided to be grateful. And so that's the, that's the bottom line. I just decided to be grateful. So fast forward a little bit, uh, about a year into driving my um, non Mary Kay pink es or Escalade, uh, the company called me and asked me if I would do a, a fun little event for the Cadillac plant to give away some some certificates at a Cadillac plant. And uh, the, the Escalades are made right here in Arlington, Texas. And so I said, sure, I'll be glad to do that. So I trotted on over, got dressed real cute and went over to the Cadillac plant thinking I was just going to present a little certificate for Mary Kay to to the Cadillac people. And, um, and so this wonderful gentleman walked me around. I got a pink hard hat to wear and it was real fun. And I was thinking I had to get back and pick up my kids from school and we needed to hurry. And, and at the very, very end, he had a very, very soft voice. And he said, Miss, um, Miss Jill, do you see this beautiful um, piece of, it was a hunk of metal is what it was, hanging up on this rafter thing. And he says, that's going to be an Escalade someday. And I said, Gosh, that's just, that's beautiful. Awesome. And he goes, and we're going to paint it pink for you. I can tell you I went crazy. I went stinking crazy. And let me tell you why I went crazy. Because this company didn't have to do that. They didn't have to go make a pink Cadillac just for Jill. They didn't have to do that. But they did. They chose to. Because they said, if Jill has a need, other women are going to have the same need. And Mary Kay is much more interested in people and love than she is profit and loss. And I can tell you just so many stories about this company, of what we stand for, how we do great things in our community, how we do great things for women, how we do great things for the environment. We're a completely green company. It's amazing what we do for the world, but especially for women. And I just want to share with you 
that if this company would change an entire car program and put a $90,000 car in the car lineup for somebody that just kept having kids past the age it was appropriate, <laughs> if that's the kind of company that would do that, that's the kind of company I could be fiercely loyal to. So I don't know if you're going to say yes to this business opportunity, but I want to encourage you to say yes at some level. If it's a $30 level, come in and dip your toes in the water. You never know unless you try. If you're coming in at hundred dollars, you're saying, girl, I want what you got and I want a pink Escalade and I want all that money. I want, you know, I want it all. Then I want to encourage you jump in. Let's get started. Thank you for joining us tonight. And I'm going to be drawing for the, um, or we're going to find out who signs up tonight and one lucky winner will win their e-star absolutely for free. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's been my pleasure to share my story with you and consultants. We've got a few days left in our seminar year. I know you're going to go bust it out. You're still selling bundles. You're still helping women with domestic violence. And I want to say congratulations. Keep up the good work. We're going to fight the fight all the way to the end of the month so we can be pink changing lives. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Have a great night.